Apprentice, the kitchen apprentice at Chatelaine. And today I'm at Metro and I'm going to be picking up some beautiful fresh asparagus, which is one of my favorite spring ingredients. Asparagus can be white or even purple, but green is what you'll find most often and our favorite in the kitchen. You want to look for firm, bright green stalks with tightly closed tips. Try to avoid bunches that are dry or even slightly wilted. Now that we've got our asparagus, let's head back to the kitchen and get cooking. So we're back in the Chatelaine kitchen and we've got our asparagus. Now if you're not going to be using your asparagus right away, just give the ends a trim. Place the stalks upright in about an inch of water, cover them with plastic wrap and put them in the fridge and they'll keep for a couple of days. When you're ready to use your asparagus, just rinse it under cool water and use a vegetable peeler to peel away the tough skin from the bottom third of the stalks. Something that I've learned since being at Chatelaine is that asparagus is delicious raw in a salad. My favorite way to do it is to use a vegetable peeler and just peel thin ribbons and they turn into these beautiful curls. Toss with a light vinaigrette and you've got an easy fresh salad. Another way to prepare asparagus is simply blanching. Just put them in boiling water for about two to three minutes and then they're done. Just make sure you put them directly in ice water to stop the cooking process. Another thing I've learned is that by salting the water, it helps keep the bright green color. When you're ready to serve, pat them dry and they go really well with a hollandaise or a garlic mayo. You can even chop them up and use them in an omelet or a frittata. Roasting asparagus will bring out an earthy flavor. All you have to do is arrange on a baking sheet and drizzle with some olive oil and sprinkle with some salt and pepper. Then roast in a 500 degree oven for five to seven minutes. When they're done, just arrange on a platter and top with some goat cheese and a squeeze of lemon and you've got a delicious side. My favorite way to prepare asparagus is on the grill. It brings out a meatiness you might not normally expect. What I do is I toss with some oil, salt and pepper and lay the spears crosswise on the grill. Cook for about six minutes, turning frequently. This is so good, served warm over a bed of greens with goat cheese, prosciutto and pine nuts. For more delicious asparagus recipes, head to Chatelaine.com.